Hello and welcome to the Devotion for Friday, October the 17th, entitled, Declare and Believe. Now, Paul gives this powerful statement about what it takes to have salvation in Romans 10, 9 and 10. He says, if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Because it's with the heart that you believe and are justified, it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and you are saved. Now, the first thing that we need to look at is when you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord, that's not saying the magic words. It's not about what comes out of your mouth. It's that declaration has to be matched with your heart, a belief that follows it. In other words, when I say Jesus is Lord, what I am saying is I am giving the lordship, the control of my life over to him. I am declaring that. I am saying God is the one in control of my life from this point forward. His heart, his desire, his commands, they are now my heart, my desire, my commands. We may not be able to walk them out perfectly, but they have to be what we desire. It has to be that focal point to where we go, no longer do I want to be in charge of my life. I want God's will above my own because I know God's will is better for me, healthier for me. It is the thing that will change my life, change my family, change my future, heal my brokenness, make me new. And as I talked about Sunday morning, it's the only way that perfection will ever come in heaven. And that's the reason the criteria by which I will stand in the presence of God or be apart from the presence of God for all eternity is going to come down to this. Will I let God be God? So here's the declaration that Jesus is Lord in control of my life. And I believe that he is who he said he was, raised from the dead, the Son of God. That's the confession. Let's pray. Father, for every one of us, you said if we would declare those words... I need you, God. I can't take care of my own sin. Your death and resurrection took care of that for me. And I have to accept that gift. And I cannot con be truly in a relationship with you that brings salvation and still want to control everything in my own life. I have to let you be the Lord. I have to allow that transformation of power to where your heart, your presence, your purpose they are mine. But you said if we would make that confession and we would hold that belief and walk it out in faith, that we would be saved. Father, I thank you that you've made it possible, no matter how much money we have, no matter uh, how much education, no, this is available to every person. There is no one that can't walk this out, that can't make this confession and walk out that belief. That is how much you love your children. And Father, I thank you that you made it possible. Lord, now let us step up into that incredible uh, uh, place of blessed life by allowing you to do the work that you died to bring to us. In Jesus' name, amen. That gift is miraculous. Make him the Lord. I'll see you tomorrow.